long last, something's being done about the housing shortage. And this is Mr. Atkinson doing it. Mr. A is a builder of houses and he builds them in a mold. They're made of plaster mixed with fibre to make it bind closely. And he adds a dash of bitter, uh, bitter aloes. Why bitter aloes? Oh, well, there's no harm in your knowing that Mr. A's houses are not for the likes of you and me. His houses are for mouses, for nice mice. And the bitter aloes stop the mice from gnawing holes in their homes. The roof is cast separately and the walls are laid upon it. The framework of the houses is almost complete. The rough cast is shaped to look like an old English cottage and the doors are placed so that the tenants will keep on going in and out. Decorating the mouse house is quite a business, it's quite an art too, and the painter is working on a dozen different designs. This one's going to be a hat shop in Mouse Town, complete with window ornaments. Funny little mice wearing funny little hats. This is the village pond. It has a glass top giving the effect of limpid blue water. Mouse Town is at the London Zoo, and living there today are about 400 mice. The tiny tenants have about 80 feet of complete freedom. The shop on the left is the chemist's, and there seems to be a hangover. The pub's very popular, though they say the missus is a bit of a cat. They've even got a model of a mousetrap, just to show how little they care. But perhaps the biggest attraction is the cinema, where Mickey Mouse is a great favourite. The resident rodents of Mouse Town are in luck, and they don't have to queue up for cheese.